Hello everyone. So this video is a bit, it's, it, it builds off the last video, which I'll link to in the description below, where I talked about contacting end clients versus translation agencies. How the mentality is very different when you're contacting end clients rather than agencies. Because you need to be able to put yourself in their shoes and uh, see things from their point of view. So this is an exercise that I want you to go through to see if you're ready to contact end clients. Just briefly, once again, the tr when, when you're a freelance translator, you have translation agencies who uh, are, you know, they aggregate all the translation jobs that are needed and hand them out to the specific translators, but they're working for the end clients. A lot of translators want to contact these end clients because obviously they pay you more, but it is a very different mentality when you contact them. So a good exercise to see if you're ready to contact them would be the following. First of all, you should take what you do, your job as a translator, you should come up with, say, five words that describe what you do. Five words to describe your business. And so do that right now. Like for me, it would be, say, I don't know, uh, trans, translator, uh, languages, um, I mean, editing I do as well. Italian and English, those are my languages. That's five, there you go. So I want you to do the same thing for yourself as a translator, and they can be other things. Maybe it's your strength, like I'm a fast translator, or I'm a precise translator, something like that. Come up with five words that describe what you do right now, jot it down, type it up, whatever it is you're doing, I'll wait. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I apologize to those of you who actually pressed pause there. Now, I want you to take these five words, this list of five words that describe what you do, and I want you to put them out of your vocabulary. When you have a conversation with the end client, you should not be using these words. And that can be very hard. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking right now, my words, like I have tran translator or translation, you know, how am I going to communicate what I do to a perspective without using that word or without using the languages? But the fact is, my perspective doesn't care about all that. If, if I take the example from last time where it's a bank or someone who works in finance and they're expanding to a new country, they're wondering if they should partner up with a company in some other country. That's their project. That's what they're doing. So the translation is just a small part of it. So when I contact them, I need to show that I understand what they're doing from their point of view. And so I need to describe how I can help them without using those words because I need to describe it from their point of view. And like I said, almost certainly they're going to have, they're going to need something more than just a translation or at least what they're looking for in their business is something more than just a translation. So if you want to be picked, you need to be able, be able to offer a bit more than just a translation. And that's what you need to concentrate on. So if I'm approaching a bank, I'd say, look, you know, I, I see you're, you're expanding into a new market. This is something I can help, help out with. I know a lot of the problems that can happen, a lot of the pitfalls. Sometimes you can't, under, you can't understand or you can't uh, trust people that you're dealing with in that country. And I can help you out with that because I've dealt with, you know, some of the good points and some of the bad points. And uh, I'm willing to work with you and help it out and help you figure out, you know, if you should pick this person or that person. And uh, it's something that I have experience with and I can help you out with. Obviously, this is purely hypothetical, but there I was able to describe a way that I could help that person without using any of those of those words and because I was able to do it from their point of view and not my own. And I didn't sit there listening. I'm a translator from Italian to English and I'm a very precise translator and I always edit all of my translations because I do a very good job, thank you. No, they don't care about any of that. I mean, they do marginally, but that's not what their day-to-day -day business is, right? That's not what's bothering them about their business that they're trying to get done. So I think that's a very good um, exercise to do when you're trying to approach end clients. By the way, if you're any type of freelancer and you want to contact end clients or if you're doing even consulting or stuff like that, I think it's a very good exercise to do to put yourself in your prospective client's shoes and uh, to take out those five words or whatever it is that describe what you do when you contact them. Feel free to try it. I do think it will help at least also to get you in the right mentality for approaching them, for approaching these end clients. So I hope you found this useful. If you did, please don't forget to click like because that always helps. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos that talk about freelancing and freelance translation. And that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.